with that, I'll take uh, any questions you might have. Hi, hey, Michelle. Welcome. Um, can you talk about where the men's basketball coach search? You won the lottery. Yeah. <laughs> First question. Great. Thank you for that question. I certainly understand the relevance of it and the interest uh, relative to that. Um, as I said last week in the teleconference, um, uh, I have taken complete control of that search, um, and I am the search committee. Um, we will do what's necessary and we will exhaust all resources to find a basketball coach that will fit what Miami needs at this time. It will be a fundamentally sound person who is positive and treats young people with the utmost respect. And we will take as much time as we need in order to find that person. We are still working with the Parker search firm that was originally retained for the search. Um, however, I, I am directing that search, and, and uh, they will assist when necessary. Would you say you're getting close? Are you in the early stages? How would you describe it? We were, we're in the stages of a process, and <laughs> that's the, the best I can give you right now. Have you interviewed anybody yet? We have. I personally have not interviewed anyone at this point. As you know, there was another group of folks who were um, going down that road. And uh, when I was hired, um, part, of, uh, part of the reason why um, I accepted to come here was the opportunity to be able to hire a basketball coach, and that intrigued me greatly. Thank you for that question. Everybody in this business has a challenge. Um, I, I saw uh, the Miami opportunity um, as uh, a great opportunity in the sense that um, you're at a world-class institution in a world-class city, world-class weather, world-class coaches in this department, and the talent is close. Although we have a global and national reach, the talent is close. So I, I don't see any challenges in that regard. I only see great opportunity. It, 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 it's what you make of your resources. Um, I've been around this uh, business at a lot of different levels, and I can tell you this, there's a lot of folks out there spending a lot of money and not doing much winning. So money isn't the solution to everything. It's maximizing your resources and doing more with less. And I've been able to do that in a number of places I've been. This is obviously a very competitive sports market, and it's uh, uh, a lot of competition for attention here. And it's sometimes reflected in the independence uh, for football and basketball. Uh, what, what, what is your take on the market and the challenges there? I haven't really had a chance to, to, to dig into that yet. Um, I, I can certainly appreciate it from afar. But um, I, I'm coming in with uh, no preconceived notions in that regard. Um, I think Coach Golden and his program uh, will be quickly um, set on a strong foundation, and, and I think people will, again, gravitate uh, to the U, and, and hopefully we will build upon our attendance numbers in that regard uh, and, and basketball as well. You know, at the end of the day, I understand that, that uh, uh, fan bases in every market are hot and cold, but we're going to have tremendous products with tremendous student athletes within within those programs, and so that's why I ask everyone who's associated with the U, don't wait around. We need your help now. Our student athletes and our coaches desperately need you to get behind them unconditionally, um, and 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 I'm confident that we're going to be able to get that going um, in 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 everything we're doing. Can you talk specifically about the, the student body? has been kind of slow to support, particularly the basketball team. Everyone thought when they get an on-campus arena, the students are just going to flow over from the dorms and it's going to be a great atmosphere, and it hasn't really happened. Can you talk about what you can do as the AD to get students more involved? Um, again, I, I haven't had much time to, to, to really look into that, and, and the past is the past. All I can tell you is, is we're going we're gonna to work really hard with great passion with our new basketball coach to engage our students 
um, and I think we're going to have a great atmosphere. Um, can't make any promises. There's no guarantees in this business. All I can guarantee is we're going to work our tail off to get that done. Thank you for that. Uh, it certainly played a role. Um, this program's not going to be about me, though. I don't want to be the face of, of, of Miami athletics. We have great coaches and great student athletes who will ultimately be the face of our program with our great support staff. So um, the opportunity to be associated um, with, with, with this place was the big allure. And of course, um, you don't get a chance to hire football and basketball coaches very often in this business. So I wouldn't uh, I'd, I'd be kidding you if, if, if that wasn't uh, that wasn't important, but but uh, it, it it played a factor into it, but not a great factor. John, uh, George Martin, Palm Beach Post. Hi, George. You mentioned before that you haven't interviewed anybody. Is that because uh, you're still transitioning to the job, uh, or you know, why is that? Got a few things going on. You know, a week ago today, uh, things were kind of uh, all thrown up into the air. But part of it is just getting settled, taking a deep breath, doing the right thing. Uh, a lot of times I've seen folks rush into these very critical decisions. Um, time is on our side. There are a lot of folks who are interested in being our basketball coach at the University of Miami. Um, and so we will take our time in order to find that person who will best put us in a position to be successful. Are you looking at assistants also? Or just head We're looking at everybody. Yeah. Anyone assistant or head coach? Looking at everybody. Shot Brian London from allcandies.com. Hey, Brian. Just generally speaking, can you talk about the vision you have for the direction of the basketball program, coach aside, and also what you expect the department to do uh, as far as its assets financially and logistically to help that vision along? Sure. You know, I think you have to align your resources with your expectations and your vision, in which we're going to do that over time. Uh, I'm going to take uh, the next you know, 90 to 120 days to really get my feet on the ground and assess the whole situation across the department. But relative to basketball, um, we, we will do what's necessary to, to put the next uh, head coach in a situation where, where they can be successful. Um, and and th there, there are a lot of excellent coaches out there in this business. My, my vision is this, um, I, and I've said it uh, a couple times. Um, I want our kids to be treated um, in a very respectful, in a loving manner. Uh, I, want a, I, want a, I want a positive person. Um, I, I don't like negative people. I want, I, I want positive people who are going to be working with our kids. Um, I, I, want, I want a coach who's going who's to respect the game and the way the game should be played. Um, and I know there's a lot of different visions on how the game should be played. But um, we're going to play hard. We're going to play great defense. We're going to take care of the ball. Those are sort of the things that I'm looking for in a basketball coach. And I think anybody would, who's looking for a basketball coach would probably say the same things. Can I ask about uh, Katie Meyer after the year that she had this year? I think that uh, her name was coming out. She's a very highly coveted coach at this moment. Do you have any plans to, uh, to do anything to We've already done it. OK. <laughs> so tell Katie, we've it. done it, right? We locked her in. Done. Can, you, can you talk about you know just how valuable she is to the university and what the deal is? Or... Very valuable. <laughs> she's, as I said early, she's one of the reasons Best. why I'm here. Um, a lot of people that I know and respect in this business, um, when I did my diligence on all of these coaches, um, when I looked when I looked at her and I talked to people who know her, um, we have a, we have she's excellent. We we have a winner and. President Shalala and the folks prior to me made sure that she was going to be a hurricane for a long, long time, and, and, and that's going to be the case, and we're going to win championships We want to together. give credit to Tony Hernandez, who did a terrific job in the interim and uh, uh, locked down that contract uh, uh, for us. How many years has she locked in? Tony, do you want a brief on that? Five. The first five. There'll be five after that, I expect. 2016, is that five? We want Katie to grow old here. Uh, let me acknowledge uh, trustees Eddie Dower and uh, Bernie Kosar. Thanks for being here, guys. I appreciate it. Um, any other questions? Yes. Gary Alvarez called you. 
shut down the search? That no, we didn't. Or, or we didn't. We interviewed. We reviewed and interviewed uh, a number of candidates. We absolutely did not shut it down. What I, what I kind of meant was he quickly rose to the top of the. No. Of the no. no, he got in the group. I love Barry, but he gets in the group, not at the top or at the bottom. Okay, but what I was going to ask is what made him quickly or relatively quickly rise above any other candidates? He actually didn't. We interviewed at the end. Uh, first of all, we had reviewed a number of candidates. Uh, for the position. We interviewed three at the end, and it was very clear that Sean was the kind of person we thought would fit very well to lead this program. He had a, he had a broad range of experience that, that made a lot of sense. Uh, and um, we interviewed three in addition to him, I want to point out. There were actually four final candidates. Um, and uh, it was a very good fit for us. A very good fit. He had been at very large programs, larger than ours, at the highest level of Division I. Sean, this is Justin from Hi, Justin. Well, I will say this, uh, Kirby, in his short time here, I, I think from what I've seen initially, it did a lot of great work and due diligence and, and kind of moving some things along. Uh, I think we have five coaches in their first or second year. So I th absolutely, it's a great opportunity, good people, um, and uh, um, you know, we'll develop a plan together and a vision together, and, um, and, and we'll, we'll try to execute that plan. Two more questions. Other than it has cheese and milk. Cheese and milk, and I found out brats and beer, too. So we, we got them all covered. Um, what we've seen so far, uh, dynamite. Um, just, just looking forward to learning more about the area. And, uh, you know, what a wonderful, wonderful opportunity for uh, my young boys to really glow, grow up in a global environment. And we're, we're, we're embracing that opportunity. I think we, two times, we got on a cruise ship here one time, and <laughs> uh, we're, we're down here one other time before, so n not a significant amount of time. I should uh, point out that on the question about marketing, uh, Sean's wife is an expert in sports marketing, so we'll take advantage of her. She also is the major lobbyist to make sure he makes a decision about a basketball coach quickly. <laughs> Any other questions? If not, welcome. Thank you. Welcome to Miami. It's good to be at the U.